Click below to watch the original Sims video or to for some reason buy Battleship. I've seen this film, and that's a sin on me. I can't count it yet, but be sure by the time Sin Sin Sins Part 2 rolls around, I will sin myself for this. Also, let's start off with a missed sin. This film is based on the board game Battleship. You'd think that Jeremy would remember to sin that, but he doesn't. And in many ways, it's really the biggest sin of all. I got tased. Those things work. Well, no. You were still able to hand a hot girl a burrito after you've been tased. And as we all know, the real measure of whether or not a taser works is if the tasey is afterwards able to hand a hot girl a burrito. Where are the holes from the other taser they hit him with? They hit him with two taser shots. Both have two prongs. No, none of them have any prongs. That's not what a prong is. This is some of the finest military porn I've ever seen. Just to be clear here, the sin here is that, as military porn goes, this is some of the best there is. So, if this was worse, would you not then sin it? Oh, so he's already with this girl then. Good. Thanks for setting up that conflict and then blowing right past. Yes, of course. I really wish this action movie spent more time fleshing out its romantic subplot. Because if there's anything that needs to be in every stupid action movie ever, then it's a completely unnecessary romantic subplot. Seriously, everything that you just said sarcastically I think would be much more true if you'd actually said it sincerely. Please you look like Colonel Sanders, actually. Rihanna thinks all white people look alike. If Rihanna actually thought that, then why would she be pointing out that two specific white people look alike? That would be like remarking, Whoa, this can of Red Bull I'm drinking tastes exactly like another can of Red Bull I drank earlier. Isn't that weird? As if it was something special to point out. You wanna talk about anything? Who the f*** is this guy? Jeremy sends a move for introducing a new character, for some reason. Wait, I thought this was a Navy movie, not an Army movie. Because a movie can only ever have one thing in it. If a movie has more than one thing in it, that's too many things. This could have been avoided if the Navy just made Independence Day mandatory viewing for all cadets. That is not true. Also, of all the eventualities to not be prepared for, I'd say that this one is fairly excusable. This sonic boom breaks all the glass except the computer monitors, the little boat's windshield, the binoculars, the sunglasses, and the windows on the other boats. Jeremy has a very interesting definition of the word all. I think the word he was actually looking for instead was the word some. Then he wouldn't have had to have that long list of exceptions. Also, he then wouldn't really have anything to sin, but whatever. I didn't sign up for this bullshit! No. Why are military guys in movies always saying they didn't sign up for this when it's exactly the type of they sign up for? Yeah, who the fuck signs up for the Navy without expecting a nautical battle with aliens? Dumb shithead. Did he not even read his orientation materials? Damn. Okay, a model, an obvious real-life paraplegic military veteran, the director's uncle playing the cop, and Rihanna. Exactly how many real actors are in this movie? I a paraplegic means someone who can't move their legs. This guy, yeah, this guy right here, the guy you just described as a paraplegic, doesn't have any legs. He's an amputee, not a paraplegic. Good thing the aliens only attack until their victims are not capable of fighting back. I mean, except for the time they used a hundred bombs to incinerate that entire ship and all her crew. That instance you gave as an exception was not in fact an exception, because it still fit all the criteria. Before the aliens incinerated the ship, it was capable of fighting back. Then after the attack, the ship was no longer capable of fighting back, and the aliens stopped attacking. Well, I guess it's a good thing they were right about that total guess that maybe the aliens don't like sunlight. Also, the aliens can't tolerate sunlight despite having evolved on a planet similar to Earth and roughly the same distance from their sun as Earth is from ours? There are plenty of plausible explanations for that. For example, it could be that their sun is a smaller sun that doesn't emit as much light. Or their planet has a thick cloud cover that keeps sunlight out. Or the aliens live underground. Or they live in a region of their planet that's always facing away from the sun. Or they seek shelter during their planet's daytime. Or their planet has a thick opaque atmosphere. Or they live in a region with a thick canopy of plant life. You know what? I think you guys get the idea. Good Good thing this floating museum ship has like 25 old-timey military guys to serve working every day as curators and who also happen to know how to run everything about the ship. Also, it's really impressive that these 25 guys are somehow able to crew a ship that's intended for a crew of over 2,000 people. Hi, and welcome to an end screen. If you were hoping for an end segment, I'm sorry to disappoint, but there was no way I was going to make as many end segments as it would take to give an end segment to every video I'm uploading today. If you're really hungry for an end segment, click the watch this video link. That'll take you to something that's sort of like an end segment. Goodbye.